All right, so I'm going to build the boat. Everything starts out with a cube. I'm going to hold the X key. I'm going to snap to the grid. And the idea is to keep it simple as you go. That is the most important thing is to keep it simple. So I'm going to go to face mode. And I'm going to shrink the front of it. Move it forward. Grab the back face. And then I'm going to switch to rotation. And I'm going to shape this out as close as I can get it to an actual boat as I can. I'm going to go to vertex mode. And just scale it. And what you do is you manipulate the geometry as far as you can before adding anything else. So I think I've hit that point. I don't think I can manipulate this any further. Maybe just a little. Now one little tip. To keep things symmetrical, I don't use the Move tool. I use the Scale tool. This keeps things nice and symmetrical. Okay, now I'm going to add geometry. There's two ways I want you to add geometry. Number one is uh, with either the extrude tool or number two with the insert edge loop tool. So I'm going to use the insert edge loop tool. And then model using scale or move or rotate. I'm going to go to edge mode. And I'm going to insert another edge loop, scale it, just like this. And then I'll go back through the geometry and give it shape while it's still in its simple form. Before I add anything else, I'm not going to worry about rounding this out. I'm not going to worry about rounding it here just yet. I will, but not not until I get more of the shape I'd like in place. So I can go back through even this geometry on the bottom and I could scale it. Now if I want to add an edge loop, I just hit Y to repeat my previous tool. And I'll go in on the vert level. So I'll go to vertex. I'm selecting both sides. I'm pulling around it and selecting both sides. And I'm checking to make sure I've selected the right verts. And then I'll hit R to scale. It keeps it symmetrical. And now I'm starting to round out the boat. Now I'll use the extrude tool. I will select just the top faces. And I will turn it and make sure I have nothing else selected. And I don't. So then I'll go to the extrude tool. And I will scale it in my extrusion. And I will hit G, repeats the previous process. That gives me another extrusion. And then I'll just hit R and scale. Now, I've got to be careful about penetrating geometry. See, I've got geometry penetrating here. So I want to correct it while I recognize it. And I have geometry penetrating here. I'll correct that. And that is a simplified base version of the boat.